it's Miss Beth and Ella is here today. She is going to listen to our great story. How are you, Ella? How are you boys and girls? You out there doing okay? I'm so glad. I've seen a couple of you come into the library and I'm so excited. I was so excited to see you guys. All right, today's great story is called Isabella, star of the story. Just how much can a little girl dream? Written by Jennifer Fosbury, pictures by Mike Litwin, and the publisher is Sourcebooks Jabberwocky of Naperville, which is right close to where we live. So that's pretty cool. This book was published in Naperville. All right, Isabella, star of the story. Slow down, Isabella, the father said. Those books aren't going anywhere. Oh, yes, they are. Some lucky books are going home with me, the little girl said, and my name is not Isabella. Then whose library card is this? Asked the mother. I'm Peter Pan and I'm flying two stars to the right and straight on to the children's room. Well, Peter, the mother said, I know that you will never outgrow a good story. Mrs. Darling, let's start with this one, the little girl said, and my name is not Peter. Then who just handed me this book? Asked the mother. I am Goldilocks and I am searching for a book that is not too short and not too long. Well, Goldie, the father said, then we should look for some fairy tales. Enchanting idea and even a bit grim, the little girl said, and my name is not Goldilocks. Then who will tell me if this book is just right? Asked the father. I am Captain Nemo and I am on a legendary dive. Aye, aye, Captain, the father said, 20,000 leagues, we go. I just hope it's not too deep, the little girl said, and my name is not Captain Nemo. Then just who is in charge of this, of this search, said the father. I am Black Beauty, and I am galloping off to greener pastures for a fantastic tale. Well, giddy up, my beauty, said the mother. Do you want to take this one out? Oop. Nay! I mean, yes, please, the little girl said, and my name is not Black Beauty. Then who will trot over here and put that book in the bag? Asked the mother. I am Alice and I'm following a little white rabbit on an epic adventure. Alice, don't lose your head, the mother said. Are you sure you want this book? Well, 
We would be mad not to take that book home with us, the little girl said, and my name is not Alice. Then who is going to use their library card today? Asked the mother. I am Dorothy and I have been twisted away to a wonderful world, but now I am trying to get back. Well, Dorothy, the librarian said, just follow the yellow big road to the checkout desk, dear. Yes, I think we have enough books and there really is no place like home, the little girl said, and my name is not Dorothy. Then whose name is on the library card? Asked the librarian. It's me, Isabella, said the little girl, just someone who loves a good book. And as the little girl and her family headed home, the father said, Isabella, it's awfully late. There will only be time for one story before bed. That's okay, Isabella said. We'll pick one for tonight and we can curl up and read the rest of them tomorrow. And that is the end of Isabella, star of the story. Okay, so in this, in this book, we talked about different books that maybe you're not super familiar with, but are wonderful classic books that maybe a grown-up can read to you. So the first one we talked about was Peter Pan, written by J.M. Barrie, and then Goldilocks and the Three Bears. There are multiple authors of that story, a very good story. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne, another great story. Black Beauty by Anna Sewell. Adventures, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. And I think that's all that we talked about. So those are great stories that Isabella in the story was referring to when she was talking about the different adventures that she was going to go on because of a good book. I am Miss Beth and I hope you have an absolutely fantastical day and I cannot wait to see you next time.